Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Oz's Fish Room. Today I'm doing a little segment on my Severum tank. Severums or Heros are a South American cichlid and um, in this tank I have a pretty interesting variety of fish. Um, I've got my uh, red spotted gold severum here. Um, this fish is about seven, a little over seven inches. And um, it's a beautiful fish. I uh, apologize for the glare. I have a planted tank over here and it's extremely bright. Um, but uh, anyway, back to the Severums. Um, I've got a few little golden zebra loaches in here. Um, just mainly to clean up and just to serve as a dither fish. As well as those rose line sharks. Same thing. They're just dither fish to break up the aggression. As, uh, Cichlids have a tendency to be very aggressive towards one another. Um, and I've also got some Uraus. I've got three of them. They're beautiful fish. And this this project here is um, it's been quite a project um, to anybody that's kept severums out there you know what I'm talking about getting severums in the same tank to get along sometimes you can't get a, two fish to get along no matter what you do it's, um, it's been a lot of work um, it's basically a matter of getting the fish. Right, here's my Rakhtil. Oh, sorry, Rakhtil Severum. Here is SP Rakhtil. And then um, I have some smaller fish here. They, there we go. Um, I have a half a dozen of the super red severns in here. So basically, they are even more red than this fish here. So, um, when they grow up, they're going to be so red, it's uh, going to be silly. And then, um, Part of that's going to have to do with the diet that I give them. Um, so, um, like anything, you know, if you, uh, if you feed the animal the same color food, then um, you'll see a reflection of it in their diet, um, uh, on their body. Um, and then I've got about six more small there. You just kind of ducked away. Um, rut keels. And um, so right now I've got about six, six, 15, 16, 17 fish um, in here. Um, and um, I'm going to be putting in a 125 gallon at least, maybe even a 180. I'm not sure right now, we'll see. But, um, yeah, so the next step here is when I have the time in between work and my family and um, all the usual suspects, then, um, I love these fish, they are so gorgeous. 
And one of the things about their Uwas that I really like is their disposition. They're just totally mellow and mild. But um, if you get aggressive with those fish, um, I'll give it right back to you. Um, and what you're seeing actually is live fish. Um, it's been kind of an experiment. Um, I did try to put in some uh, some fern, some java fern, but uh, some java moss. But uh, sevrums eat things, so I have a bunch of plants that I can work with. I know I've done my research, um, so like Lixa, Japonica. Um, Java fern and uh, a list of at least a half a dozen other types of plants that my fish can eat and um, the plan will be to have the there's another one of my little rock keels just there on the, on the bottom yeah, and Pepe here Pepe is my uh, Red spot and gold seven. In my opinion, except for the little nip on the fin, um, this is a nearly perfect specimen. Just a really a gorgeous fish. Just absolutely beautiful. He's not perfect, but or he. I'm so on the fence with um because I haven't tried to breed her yet. Um, for him because the the fins are elongated and pointy on the uh, on the back but um, you know just never know all right so yeah, yeah um, let's see There's my rock cube showing off his bars. In this tank, there's uh, look at the colors on that. Uau. Look at that. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh, it's just amazing. I can't wait to see these fish as they just grow and get bigger. Pepe's just saying, you know, new boss, get out of my way. But Pepe's pretty chill. Um, well, I have seen her get into some pretty intense scraps before. Um, I've seen her give a beating to my one of my Oscars who's about a little bit bigger than her and um, another Sevrum and a few other fish and um, let's see These super reds, um, they are amazing. They are not anything like a gold Sevrum um, in that they're, I mean, you can tell like right off the bat when I got them. Um, their character, their disposition, um, their confident their posture um, the level of aggression I mean it's just it's, it's great I'm gonna try as hard as I can to make sure that all these little fish make it um, you know every once in a while I wake up one morning and find something floating and 
it's usually a little one, so um, I'm trying not to let that happen and trying to avoid it at all costs. Um, so I've got to really be sensitive to the water parameters. No extreme temperature changes, no extreme pH changes. No extreme anything. Um, I really, yeah, I think I'm gonna take that uh, one stick there with the Java Moss out because um, I don't know. It's not. They don't. It's not good for them. It's, um, I'm not sure, you know, if it's going to damage their stomach or anything, but um, they don't need it. And um, they tasted the java fern at first. Did I say java fern? I meant java moss. I think I'm going to take that out. But um, they tried the java fern. Um, they decided it tasted horrible as it's supposed to, which is why it's in here. And so, um, you know, that said, I am um, gonna probably put a lot more of it in. Because, in my opinion, as a fish keeper for, I know, um, several decades, um, fish need to have plants in the tank. Um, they don't need to, but they should. Um, it leads to a happier, healthier environment. Um, it's normal for fish to be around plants. Plants are good for your tank. Um, and uh, they look better. Some more than others, depending upon what your tastes are what you like. Alright everybody, I think I'm about to wrap this up. Sorry for that glare again. <laughs>